Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Cher here with PCDJ Dex 3.2. It's the re uh, latest release uh, for Mac and Windows, uh, the new 64-bit version. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the new search capabilities in the software um, and go over the basics as well. A um, couple things you need to know. In order to make sure your songs, uh, your collection of music is searchable, whether it's audio, video, or karaoke uh, in Dex 3, is there's really two ways to make sure your files are added to the search cache. One of them is either through the Explorer or Finder section, Finder on a Mac, Explorer uh, on a PC. Uh, any folder you navigate on your hard drive, your hard drive or any connected hard drive, if you've opened that folder to view the contents one time in the software, those files are now added to the search cache. And that, that isn't per session. That means if I open this folder today, uh, two weeks from now, it's still going to be searchable, right? So any folder you've opened and navigated to one time in the software to view the contents, when you see that so those songs load, they are also added to the search cache. Uh, so, and that happens through favorites too. If you nest a folder as a favorite, which is kind of the way most uh, most of our DJs are utilizing the library right now, is they're nesting all their main folders off their hard drives as favorites. It's really handy if you've already organized your files on your hard drive. So once you've added it as a favorite, same thing applies. If you've opened the folder one time to load the data, load the songs, and view them, they're now going to be searchable no matter where you are in the library from that point forward. Okay, the other thing you can do, and this applies to guys that have tons of subdirectories. I know a lot of uh, guys or many people will uh, have artist folders for every artist. So obviously those can be thousands upon thousands of folders and having to navigate and open those folders one time in the program can be pretty cumbersome. So the alternative method would be to just scan your entire hard drive into the database. And, you know, I say hard drive, that can be your hard drive, external hard drive, multiple external hard drives, whatever. Just scan your entire collection to the database. Cause when you add a folder, like say you add the hard drive letter or the parent folder to the database, it's going to scan in every other subdirectory as well. So you select the parent folder or the drive letter, scan everything in, let it populate the database. That will ensure that every single file and every single folder on your drive is searchable. Now, you can do both. A lot of people are doing that. If they've got a ton of subdirectories and they want to be able to browse their folders, they will just nest their folders as favorites so they can browse them. Uh, but they'll also add their entire collection to the database to ensure that everything's also searchable. So once you've got your, your files populated in DEX3, you know, some of the basics of search uh, are search string searching. Uh, say if I want to look for this Afro Jack song, I could put part of the artist name and then part of the title. You see that? So Afro Jack 10 foot tall, it's, it's finding my results right away. And I can even take it a step further and put other components of the search. So search string searching, let's say kind of like uh, using a search engine such as Google, is supported. But some of the changes in 3.2 that we want to touch on today are the ability to search for BPM, key, and year uh, a little uniquely. So if I want to search for a BPM of a track, I'm going to type in the B first and then the BPM of the track. In this case, 128 is going to give me any song that has 128 um, and to the second decimal point as well. So if I want to search for year, I can type in Y. And let's say and if I want everything in the 1990s, I can just type in 199. I leave off the final decimal point or final uh, final year uh, since I just want everything from the 90s. So if I type in 199, I'm getting everything in the 1990s, 1997, 1994, and so on. Now, you can combine these as well. So say I want to search for... Uh, let's see, BPM of 130, year 2000, 2000, and I'm just doing 2.0 since I want everything from then, and then uh, you could type in the type of uh, the type of song, the genre. So I've got the BPM 130, I've got year uh, 2000s, and I've got dance. So I'm going to see every song that has 130 in the year, you know, in 2000 through 2015 through today. 
and uh, the genre of dance. So you can combine these search strings to find what you're looking for. You can even search for key. Uh, the library does support, support key, so if I want, there's a good example. So key 10, 10A, there's a key of 10A. So if you're trying to mix songs harmonically, you can look up other songs that have key, providing that's been applied in the library, um, just like that. So I can also search for, let's see, let's just take something here. See that? So I typed in part of the song's name and then the BPM. So you can combine those. So just remember, if you're searching BPM, put a B first and then the number. If you're searching for year, put a Y first and the year. If you're searching for a key, put a K first and then the number. So there you go. 8, 8B, eight 8A. Eight so I've got four songs in the key of 8 rather. So that's it. That's that's how you can search and you can combine the search strings. I know people have been asking about how to search BPM. Um, so just remember to use the B for BPM, Y for year, K for key.